We mentioned earlier that water is amphoteric, meaning it can act as an acid or a base. And even in pure water, it will act as a water and a base with itself. It will act as a water and a base, acid and a base with itself. This is called self-ionization. So you can get two water molecules uh, get together, and one can say, hey, I'm tired of this hydrogen ion. Would you hold it for a while? It gives the hydrogen ion to the proton acceptor, the base. And then we end up with a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion. Now, is that something that we've seen happen a lot in chemistry before, where we've got two things that are the same and they become different? That's kind of against nature. Um, if this one was different than that one, then we see things happening. But usually we don't see two things that are the same becoming different. And so this happens, but it happens to a very, very small amount. This is an equilibrium. Oops. Happens to a very small extent. And what we see at at room temperature, 25 degrees, with pure water, is we see the hydronium ion concentration is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration. It has to be, because for every hydroxide you form, you also form a hydronium ion. And it's equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. That's a very small concentration, 0 0.0000001 molar, very small. The ion product constant which is the equilibrium constant for this ionization reaction, is given the symbol Kw, K for water, is the hydronium ion's concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. And that equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So let's go back real quick here. Because we've covered chapter 15 already. And so we know about uh, equilibrium constants. So here, the equilibrium constant for this reaction is called Kw. And we would take the concentrations of the products, the molar concentrations of the products, times each other. And notice that the coefficients are 1, so there's no square or cube or anything here. And that would be divided by the concentrations of the reactants. But those are liquids. Liquids and solids don't have concentrations that change. And so we don't include those in the equilibrium constant. So there's the equilibrium constant for this reaction. And on the next slide, we tell you that it's 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Is that larger than 0 or smaller than 0? I'm sorry, not 0, 1. Smaller than 1, right? It's not negative. It's smaller than 1. And it's a lot smaller than 1. So that tells us that the concentrations of products are very small compared to the concentration of reactants. So this goes to the forward direction just a tiny bit. So there's the equilibrium constant expression. There's the value of the equilibrium constant. And if we know, just like when we did solubility products, that the concentration of this is equal to that, that's how we can calculate the concentration of each of them is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. And in a neutral solution, we have the concentration of hydronium equal to the concentration of hydroxide ion. Any questions? So we define a solution as acidic or basic based on the re relative relative concentrations of hydronium ion and hydroxide ion. When they're equal, we say the solution is neutral. For an acidic solution, there's extra acid. So there's more hydronium ion. The hydronium ion concentration is larger than 10 to the minus 7, and then the hydroxide ion concentration must be less because they both have to multiply together. They have to always equal 10 to the minus 14. A basic solution has less hydrogen ion, hydronium ion concentration, and greater hydroxide ion concentration. Any aqueous solution will have the hydronium ion concentration 
times the hydroxide ion concentration equal to 10 to the minus 14. So here is a, I guess, an illustration. Here we're showing hydronium ion concentrations and hydroxide ion concentrations. As we go to the acidic end, we see the hydronium ion concentration increasing. 10 to the minus 3 is smaller than 10 to the minus 1. And we go this way, we see the hydronium ion concentration decreasing. 10 to the minus 14. At the same time, the hydroxide ion concentration is going in the opposite direction. As we go to the acidic side, it becomes less and less. As we go to the basic side, it becomes more and more. So they, they are inversely related. If one goes up, the other goes down. How did I do that? I guess I bumped, bumped the computer with the cord. So we can do calculations with that equilibrium constant, Kw. If we're given the hydroxide ion concentration, we can calculate the hydronium ion concentration. So here we've got the hydroxide ion concentration equals 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2 molar. Well, we know that Kw, which is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, is equal to the hydronium ion concentration. Oops. Okay. Start over. Let's just do it this way. The hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration equals Kw, which is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. That doesn't have a unit because it's an equilibrium constant. If we want to know what the hydronium ion concentration is, we need to rearrange this equation and solve. Those will cancel out. Solve for the H3O+. plus. So to find the hydro hydronium ion concentration, we just take 1 EE minus 14 and we divide by this concentration. Divide by 1.5 EE minus 2. And I did something wrong. I got 10 to the 52. Hmm. Let's try that again. That's better. So for A, I'm coming up with the hydronium ion concentration being equal to 6.7 times 10 to the minus 13. And the unit will always be molarity. What's the answer for B? If the hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus 7, and we take 10 to the minus 14 and divide by 10 to the minus 7, we end up with 10 to the minus 7. That would be a neutral solution. Oh, we're supposed to say whether they're acidic, basic, or neutral. Here the concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide are equal, so this is neutral. What's that first one? Is it acidic or basic? basic. It's basic because the hydroxide ion concentration is larger. This one on the bottom, the hydrogen ion, hydronium ion concentration comes out to be 1.2 times 10 to the minus five. Is that acidic, basic, or neutral? It's acidic. The H3O plus is larger than the hydroxide ion concentration. Any questions?
when one of the crews scan the, the power, if it's in negative five or it's in negative six, it wouldn't that be a clue? Yeah. Um, you can actually, if you think about it, you can actually tell if it's acidic or basic just looking at one of these concentrations or the other. Here the hydroxide ion concentration is greater than 10 to the minus 7. And so this is basic. Here if this one is equal to 10 to the minus 7, then it's neutral. Here it's 10 to the minus 10, that's smaller, and so it's a basic solution. I'm sorry, an acidic solution. So this is a very similar calculation to what we did with equilibrium constants from chapter 15.